fish. Good heavy fish. You know, we've probably drilled 40 holes before we arrived at this location. And let's pull this nice crop. You know, the frustrating part is that this spot doesn't look any different than the other spots we fish. It's just a matter of just hitting enough spots. There, beautiful crappie. There's more of them down there. And, you know, I like to fish off a sled. In my mind, nothing beats a sled as far as just mobility and just covering a lot of, a lot of spots. I mean, you can just fish through spots so fast. And, and so I fish off a sled a lot. And over the years, I've gotten a lot of emails. You know, people want to know more about fishing out of a sled. You know, there's a lot of options. You know, the sky's the limit as far as just your imagination. You can do anything that you want, but you know, you'll see different trends, different things that work really well. You know, I, I like to have my GPS, for example, up here where I can see it. And then that way I can zoom in and zoom out while I'm driving. And I like to run the GPS hardwire right to the main battery. You can also get cigarette plug-in adapters, but in my opinion, they get loose and, and you keep losing your power and you keep losing your, you know, your satellite. And so the Vexlar, everything can be run right off your battery. There's a lot of different options, but the big thing is that, you know, this is almost like a boat console where you can just mount everything on your dash and especially for running and gunning and just checking spots fast, mount your Vexlar right up on your dash. Just you're, you're in search mode. You know, we're up on the Canadian Shield here. You know, most of these spots don't ever get fished. It's just a matter of drilling holes until you mark fish. And you know, you just go from hole to hole and just drop the transducer down. You're just seeing if there's anybody home. I got a camera mounted over here that I use if I have questions about the bottom, if I want to see if the weeds are green, I want to see what kind of rocks are down there. And typically what I do is I just keep everything in the pouch as far as the transducers in the in the camera lens. So that way everything is fast and everything is easy. And that's the whole key is making this as easy as possible so you can just go through spots and fish fast. Here he comes. <laughs> that is a heavy fish and it's a crappie. It came right up off the bottom so you never know. There's walleyes and tulipy white fish. Oh yeah, there's a nice crappie. Look at this. There, another nice crappie. Got more of them down there. Yeah, dandy fish, dandy. Look at this, caught a few fish off of this spot here and they're already starting to ignore this larger spoon. So I'm just gonna grab this other rod here. Drop down something a little bit smaller, see if we can trick one right away. on the spoons and drop that little jig down to catch a few more and nice fish fish in the water you know when it comes to just drilling a lot of holes earlier in the year I'll actually use an electric auger quite a bit up here you know we got quite a bit of ice and so I'm using a gas auger but what I like to do is have the auger in front of me just so I can see it. One of the best auger carriers that I found is the 
is the digger auger carrier but there's a lot of stuff out there I mean, you just do a google search you can find a lot of stuff that's available but i just like something that just locks down versus using bungee cords and where where i'm at out in the dakotas you know we don't have a lot of trees and so i like to run the auger crossways but you, know, you get up in the canadian shield here where they're going through a lot of portages and stuff they'll have a tendency to run the augers or the auger is going straight back. Another fish down there. Come on, eat it. Oh, look at this one coming. Oh, isn't that cool? Fun. Fun, fun, fun. Come on. This is a digger. What do we got here? Oh, a little walleye. And a sauger. What's really cool about up here is, if, you know, you basically just fish for spots that look good. There's just no people up here, so fish spots that look good. You don't have to worry about the human pressure element. Fishy looking spots usually have fish. You know, the big thing though to stress is that whatever isn't on your sled is going to get beat up. And so when you're hauling your vexlars, you know, put them on your sled. Either, like I've got a rack back here, which is basically just take a tub from a fish trap, mount it on the back, and then that way you just, your tub from your fish trap will fit inside the tub. So you have two tubs stacked on top of each other. So if you're hauling cameras, if you're hauling vexlars, electronics, make sure it's on the sled. If you tow it, it's going to get beat up. And so a lot of times I try to get my rods and my electronics on the sled. Propane, big houses they can drag behind you but you know with the tow hitches that we have the high fex runner kits there's just so many things where you can rig these houses up where you can just rig them up to go and typically the two-man houses tow better and they usually tow better if you have some weight in them and so there's a lot of different things you can do to customize your sled but really it's you know the possibilities are endless what you can do ah there nice Nice. Another digger. <laughs> Another dandy crappie. Look at that. Oh, isn't that just a just a beautiful fish right there? This makes drilling all the holes and, and just checking all the spots and just being in such beautiful country worthwhile right here. And so the sky is the limit I and mean, you can you can rig up these sleds any way that you want and it's cool because wherever we go across the country you'll see ingenuity at its finest where you have ATVs in some areas like out on Fort Peck place where you don't get a lot of snow you see a lot of four-wheelers and quads and ATVs up here in Ontario you got to have tracks or, or sled because of the snow but you know it's just so much creativity and so you know, you think about how you fish, rig up your stuff so that it fits you, so it fits your style. And, you know, send us some emails, you know, let's let's see what you come up with. Because I just love seeing how everybody else tricks out their traps, tricks out their equipment to help them catch more fish. And so go to our Facebook page, if nothing else, send us some pictures. Let's see some of the things that you're doing to help you catch some more fish when you're running and gunning this winter. Jason Mitchell Outdoors has been brought to you by... Shields, Crestliner Boats, Clam, Vexilar, Ice Armor, Salmo, Cooper Chevrolet, and Jason Mitchell Elite Series Rods. Closed captioning provided by Woodland Resort. To find out more information on Jason Mitchell Outdoors, make their official webpage one of your favorite pages. Find out upcoming show schedules and airtimes, along with past shows, article and product reviews at jasonmitchelloutdoors.com. Great information on the outdoors is just one click away.